Hello, I'm going to show you a couple books for your three-year-old little guy. Um, so you already said you had the big book of big machines. We do have a big book of big trucks, um, so it's the same format as the machines one, but um, this is a storybook, so if you want something kind of fun, highly recommend this. Um, there is a hardback version, which I actually wish I would have gotten because we love this so much, and the paperback, of course, you know, it's not as, it won't last as long as a library or a hardback book. Um, so it's busy trucks on the go. It's rhyming. It's um, every page. It's the dad and his son talking about every truck they see and what the trucks do. And then we also have a book called Dan the Taxi Man, which is an, one of my favorite picture books actually ever. And um, it features him. So if you ever do get that, it's like a familiar face in there. It's by the same author. Um, and then this this little set is really fun. Um, I thought they would be more like baby books since they're little, but they're awesome because they work for babies, you know, when they're smaller. But um, it's actually fun at this age too. My four-year-old loves these. So it's again more rhyming, um, really simplified trucks. So if you just want some cute carry-along ones that he can kind of memorize and, and hold himself really easily and all that, that's what these little ones are. And um, this set is just $7.99, so they're uh, an easy little add-on. Um, so about letters and numbers, this is a wipe clean. We have lots of different wipe clean books. This is one that's a collection, so it's two different topics in one. It comes with the pen and every page. Um, he, so the first set is numbers, so it's about tracing numbers, counting things, and then also tracing the dots, so beginning pen control. And then when it skips to the letters, um, they have other activities in the back with numbers too. And then um, when it skips to the letters, they have the big letter and the little letter, and then again, more things to trace. So, um, and this is something cool that you could take on road trips, restaurants, church, that kind of thing. Um, with the flat numbers is this set. We have a couple of different ones. We have a colors one, a shapes one, an opposites one, and words. Um, with the flat numbers, um, I'm going to skip this page because this one's kind of basic, but it has like how many of each one in there. Um, so every page kind of has a little activity. This one is how many of each of these animals can you see? So you go and find the giraffe and then you count how many and then you lift it to see if you're correct. And then, um, or you can do it reverse. I mean, it's just, there's a different things you can do with it. On the farm, um, lift the flaps in the big picture to find these numbers and these objects. So every page has a little bit of an activity and they do get a little harder. So um, my four-year-old still is you know, the odds and evens, he totally doesn't understand yet. And then um, simple math, this is my favorite page because it's starting to teach them like how when you add stuff together, um, plus if one person's on, you add one, how many is there? And they try to think it out and it shows them. So um, highly recommend this one because of all the things you can do to it, do with it as they grow with numbers. Um, then there is my favorite. This is in my top five books, this illustrated alphabet. Um, this hat comes with a slip case, but I'm just showing you the book. So every page features beautiful illustrations. And then it's more than just a letter and then a word. It is the letter and then a couple different things that you have to look for or that you can see up here that start with that. The X is a little different. It has the sound in there. So R has a rocket, a robin, a robot, a rhino and then things in here, and then you read it, and it's silly and goofy. The rhino didn't rate the rhubarb in the rabbit's restaurant, but he approved of the risotto. So it's great for the vocabulary building. The alliteration is so awesome for um, phonic sounds, which is the last thing you need before you kind of start working on sight words and rhyming and stuff like that. Um, my very first dinosaurs book, this one is a fun one. Um, it's just simplified all of the dinosaur facts. It's a word book, so it's thicker. And, um, it's just a cool resource to begin the talk about the facts of dinosaurs. Because some of the dinosaur books we that we have from other companies, they're just so intense with facts that it's it's a little hard for you know the preschool age to truly understand. But this kind of does the, the job for us by t um, telling it in a way that's simple. And then also, I don't have it out, but I recommend also the excavation kit. There's two different ones, and one comes with the book. They um, It's so much fun. They actually dig into rock to uncover these bones that they put together and form a dinosaur. So that's kind of, um, you can look on the site for the excavation kit. And then um, this is Sea Under the Sea. Now this technically is, this is the series, the sea, it's the sea inside series. Um, this is for like six year olds and up. 
but we love them. We still do, and Weston's only four. And because your um, child likes the um, Under the Sea, this is the, my, my favorite book that we have for Under the Sea. Um, there are tons of flaps that do just fun things. Um, he gets to pick and choose a couple of flaps on each page, and I'll read them. And even if some of the facts are above his head, I can read them to him anyway because they understand more than you give credit for. And then as they grow older, you can continually read them, and they will eventually understand it. Um, this one feels like it. Oh yeah, this page pulls out, so it's kind of a cool flaps. There's tons of flaps, guys. I mean, it is. These books are just beautiful. Um, this is his favorite page because of all the scary monsters that are in the deepest part of the ocean. I'm trying to find the. It's hard to do one-handed, just so you know. Um, but anyway. So I highly recommend this one if you want to do the under the sea themed. Any of our sea inside books are great, but um, typically I stick to the look insides for his age, which we do with look inside train and our world. Things like that you can check out too. It's a little bit younger for the facts, but this one is super great too. So um, big book of big bugs. This was the book that he and my husband were just reading um, as they were going to bed. I actually have a picture of it. I personally do not like this book for the fact that I hate bugs but it is wonderful if you like books. And so my four-year-old's obsessed with this book and he likes to call me in to show me the next scariest thing. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I really do not like them. But um, bite size, the bite-sized bits of information are really good for them. Um, again, information you can pick and choose of what you wanna to read to them. As they grow older, they'll understand more. Um, but yeah, what, what kid who likes bugs is not gonna just adore this book? These huge fold-out pages. Um, and as you know, you have, I think you have the big book of machines, if I'm remembering correctly. So anyway, those ones are my suggestions. Oh, the other one I wanted to say, I can't find it because they took it to the park, but it was, um, it's a little pocket book of insects and you can't, you just look pop, just search for the term pocket and it will bring up a couple different options. They like to take it to the park and then they go and hunt for bugs and then look through the pocket book to find which bug it is and then my husband reads it to him. So anyway, um, those are my suggestions for your little guy and I hope you saw something that you like. Thank you.